Good day, dear students. I am again with you. Today we are going to talk about the topic concerning the tourism. So look at look at the screen. What can you see? People are collecting coffee in coffee plantation. You see how interesting, how unusual picture. It attracts us. It attracts our attention. In the next picture, you can see tea plant. People are collecting tea leaves. Very interesting for us because tea is grown in India in other countries. Next picture you can see people are planting rice. Very interesting, yes? Somehow dangerous for your health. It's unusual, but really want, we want to look at the uh, scenery. On the next picture you can see melon and watermelons just uh, on the fields. Yes, you are right. It's Uzbekistan. Strawberry planting. Very interesting. Very attractive picture. Banana plant. People grow banana for export. Especially, they provide the world with bananas. Unusual scenery for us because bananas are not grown or rarely grown in Uzbekistan. Apple, the garden, orchard. You are right, it is Uzbekistan. Next one. You can see tropical fruit on the screen. Very interesting. You want to see it. You enjoy from the beauty. On the next screen, you can see rural life and city life. Which one would you prefer to live in or to travel? Did you guess today's topic? Yeah, right. Today, we are going to speak about village tourism, agro-tourism, or rural tourism. Village, rural, and agro agriculture. And I think you guessed, today we are going to travel to agricultural side of tourism. As you know, village is a settlement or community larger than Hamlet, smaller than a big city and town. Agritourism or just the agritourism involves any agriculturally based operations or activity that brings visitors to a farm or ranch. Recent years, it has developed rapidly in world tourism as well as in Uzbekistan. Agritourism Ethnographic, rural, green, rural tourism, all of them are synonyms. It is very useful, beneficial for health. Clean village, clean air is beneficial for our health. When we speak about educational point of view, people just uh, travel or choose rural tourism for educational goals. Look at the picture. People are looking at the planted uh, plant field and they get some information from the owner how he plants that uh, uh, vegetable or just uh, rural plant. Why do we need our agriculture tourism? Especially culinary or restaurants need to just education in the sphere of agriculture because they buy agricultural products as well as hospitality is very important the recreation demands rural tourism entertainment requires rural tourism agricultural tourism you get on the screen sometimes uh, riding on the horse that means it's a group of recreation the group of tourists can just uh, ride different kind of animals that don't exist in their country. Agricultural tourism has become a necessary means for many small farmers' survival. 
as well as people create their own orchard with a, uh, just a farm with animal that attract a lot of guests. Especially, uh, agricultural tourism develops other sides of lifestyle, such as uh, uh, national uh, traditionals, uh, traditional products can be developed or can be created by the rural uh, people. They, are the, they offer a revival of the lost folk art and handicrafts. Of course, in non-agricultural sector, these kind of things are developed because people who visit rural areas, rural areas will buy this kind of uh, handicraft works. Rural tourism, of course, will develop population growth and uh, it will supply this, uh, all people with work. Sometimes it's the ideal rest for relaxation and giant, giant sports for vacationers because people like uh, rural life when they are tired of a tidy of a city. Green tourism, ecotourism are uh, so the same, but sub, uh, rural tourism is a subgroup of ecotourism. And of course, people are interested in the cultural life, in agricultural life, as well as uh, their style of life of uh, ordinary people when they visit their country. They have got commercial rural tourism and non-commercial rural, rural tourism. Commercial to rural, rural tourism especially uh, will require uh, some kind of service and where you pay. And non-commercial that means you work there and just you do for your beneficial, for your educational uh, benefits and etc. So when we speak about other resources of rural tourism, we can say agro-tourism, tourism stay, practical experience tourism, gastronomic tour, sport tourism, and so on. The World Tourism Organization assessing the state of agro-tourism <coughs> and they say it takes second place after beach tourism. Many people prefer rural tourism after beach tourism. On the screen, you can see British model of agritourism. You see pumpkins everywhere, and uh, British people are famous with their pumpkins, with the Halloween, as well as they plant a lot of pumpkins. Riding and hiking, fishing has been added to rural tourism. On the screen, you can see German model of agritourism. Two people are drinking beer, wine, and they celebrate some kind of event. German model especially uh, is famous for its folk festivals and holidays, beer festivals and ordinary events to celebrate the village day. This kind of uh, things, places attract a lot of guests. When we speak about French model of agritourism, we can see from the screen and uh, we want to say they are famous with their wine making, local cuisine, wine drinks and wine festival, especially it involves a lot of people from different parts of the world to see, to see the beauty of their agricultural tourism. Italian model of agritourism. On the screen you see a lot of oranges. This is maybe a festival and some kind of traditions and of course people visit to see this kind of entertainment programs. The luxury villas and simple villages, especially they want to see the different color of Italian model of agritourism. According to the stati statistics, more than 50% of Europeans prefer to stay in the rural areas. If they asked me, I would also stay in the rural areas because we work every day and we are tired of noisy life. Uzbekistan rural tourism. So Uzbekistan, as we know, is famous for its agricultural products, agricultural tourism. As they say, almost all regions of Uzbekistan have a great potential for rural tourism. And Uzbekistan is famous for its fruits, for its agricultural products. 
And uh, when we speak about travels in Uzbekistan, I especially prefer to see the camels. Breeding camels on the territory of more than 60,000 hectares. Especially they want to see uh, the camels in the deserts. What about the Tapchan tourism? Tapchan tourism is very famous among not only foreigners but as well as local participants, local tourist, tourists. And when we uh, prefer or when we try to develop village or agricultural tourism, we provide jobs for villagers. Uh, as well as we can develop forget forgotten crafts, forgotten handicraft materials. Because when they visit the rural places, of course, they want to, to buy something that will symbolize that place, that will remember them about. And so here... You can see in the next picture uh, real uh, national uh, colors of uh, Uzbek people, and of course, uh, when we speak about the, the uh, provincial or area where we can attract others, just like in Navajo regions, they rent houses, ho houses, and donkeys uh, for travelers, and of course, grapes, different kind of fruits. Do, uh, fruit orchards, of course, will involve uh, guests for educational tourism because they want to exchange their ideas, experience, and all irons, uh, real or poultry attracts a lot of guests. Pots, pots and spoils uh, are main, uh, just uh, symbolic things to uh, to present or just uh, to give to give as a gift. Especially, especially in Chosu market, market, we can see different kind of national items that uh, are bought by tra travelers. Wine enterprises, anibum, uh, just honey production, and of course uh, some kind of um, uh, production as a kurt or suzma are very famous among uh, just tourists. They prefer to buy them. They want to taste. And they take it to their homeland to uh, that will remember about our sunny country. On the screen, you can see the part of the village that it will be interesting uh, just uh, to to show uh, to the guests that have never seen these kind of places. Our festivals that are celebrated during uh, summer holidays or spring holidays, of course, attract and as well as. Uh, Several places that uh, special uh, holiday homes attract guests' attention uh, that are set or just very set in the mountain areas. During an hour's holiday, we celebrate different kind of uh, just uh, festivals like Kupkara games. Of course, Kupkara games are held in rural areas which attract a lot of people, a lot of guests, and famous for its. Uh, style for its uh, uh, how to say it uh, peculiarities that does that that belong to only to Uzbek people and uh, this rural and agricultural tourism as well as well develop handicraft uh, sphere that that are lost by many years during USSR time on the screen we can see some samples from Navos holiday of course, Navos holiday is also very uh, popular uh, among uh, the attractions that will attract a lot of guests during spring. And of course, it's also constrained to agricultural uh, tourism. This sphere will develop small business as rural tourism involves a lot of workers and it will provide uh, the rural inhabitants with a job, with some kind of uh, business. That was all about rural tourism. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being with me.